We just saw that hydraulic arm get lowered into the lifting position. That arm will be the mechanism that is utilized to lift Dragon up and up. We're getting some views now from actually on so inside the boat. Yeah, Drag you're exactly right. Uh, this view is uh, straight down the recovery vessel. Uh, that platform that was closest to the camera, that is the egress platform. Freedom, rigging is almost complete. Approximately five minutes until capsule lift. So once securely on... Uh... Welcome aboard the recovery vessel. Recovery personnel are completing final checks and stand by for translation to the egress platform. Freedom copies. Great news there, letting us know that Dragon Freedom has been successfully recovered from the water's surface. If you've just joined us, we had an on-time splashdown at 5.57 p.m. Eastern Time, and we can now see that the uh, water recovery operations uh, are continuing to progress. The nest where the Dragon spacecraft is located is going to um, get moved forward. This will happen after one of the recovery crew members uh, does some checks and uh, we'll also see some hosing. Obviously, the spacecraft splashed down in salt water. Salt water is corrosive and we want to try and rinse out as much of the salt water as possible to reduce that corrosion uh, on the metallic structures. So we can see some guidance there being provided, really steering the spacecraft uh, properly into the dragon's nest. Now, while we are standing by for translation of the Dragon spacecraft to the platform there, the recovery platform that we see in the foreground, um, it is important to note that Nick, Sonny, Butch, and Alexander will be getting assistance from the recovery teams while exiting the spacecraft. 